Okay, so going through the review. The first thing in number one you need to do is take a look at you have 7A on one side, 2A on the other side. We need to get those on the same side. So I'm going to minus 2A. That cancels. 7A minus 2A is 5A equals 27. Divide by 5. So A equals 27 divided by 5. It is completely fine to keep that as a fraction. Okay? Number two, when you have a fraction, you can get rid of that fraction by multiplying by the reciprocal. So if you multiply both sides by 4 thirds, okay, the 4's cancel, the 3's cancel, you have x, and then I have 9 over 1 times 4 thirds, 9 times 4 is 36, 1 times 3 is 3, 36 divided by 3 is 12. So x equals 12. Okay. Number three, r minus 8 divided by 6. That is divided by 6. We need to get rid of that first. So the opposite is to multiply times 6. The 6 is canceled. You have r minus 8. Negative 7 times 6 is negative 42. From there, you add 8 to both sides. r equals negative 42 plus 8 is negative 34. Number four is an absolute value. You need to remember when you have an absolute value, there are two solutions, okay? What's inside that? 3x plus 1 could equal 13, or it could equal negative 13. On the left, we subtract 1. You get 3x equals 12. I'm going to finish it up here. 3x equals 12. Divide by 3, so x equals 4. On the other one, minus 1, you get 3x equals negative 14. Divide by 3, x equals negative 14 over 3, and it's fine to leave it like that. So you have two answers. Okay. Number 5, we're going to distribute. That's 3n plus 15, and then you have minus 6 equals 3n plus 9. When we subtract the 3n, because we want to get our variables on the same side, they both cancel. What's left on the left, 15 minus 6 is 9, on the other side is also 9. Since your variables cancel, what's left is equal? Your solution is all real numbers. Okay. Number 6, 1 third y plus 2 equals 10. We can first get rid of that 1 third. All right, if we multiply both sides by 3, that 3 cancels. Now we just have 1 times y plus 2, which is just y plus 2. 10 times 3 is 30. Minus the 2, you get y equals 28. Okay. The next one, the first thing you need to do, I know it's an absolute value, but the absolute value is not by itself. So we need to minus the 6 first. Then you have the absolute value of x minus 5 equals 12. From there, you can split it. I'm going to move it up here. So you have x minus 5 equals 12, and x minus 5 equals negative 12. Okay? When you add 5, you get 17. And add 5 here, you get x equals negative 7. Those are your two answers. Okay. Number 8, x divided by 3.1 equals 4.5. Opposite of dividing is to multiply. Multiply three, both sides by 3.1. So you get x equals 4.5 times 3.1. I don't have a calculator on me. I'm not sure what that is. So multiply that out. That's it. All right, I'm going to stop there. I'll do um, the rest on a couple more videos.